So I was born and raised Catholic, so I went to private school all of um, my whole life, pretty much elementary school, um, through high school, and so I grew up hearing a lot about Jesus, and took a lot of Jesus classes, Bible classes, um, all that jazz, but I wouldn't say that I was like super serious about my faith. Uh, I came to faith when I, I, I was raised in a Christian family, and I, I, w I knew the I knew what it meant to, to follow Christ and just, uh, but I, I never uh, really committed until my eighth grade uh, year in school. Uh, that was when the bullying started. Um, I would say in high school, I guess it. I guess it depends. I think I like evolved throughout the four years, but I would say I came into high school really like insecure for as long as I can remember, I have just had like a tendency to be overly anxious um, compared to the people around, like my peers, I guess. Um, I never really saw them being as anxious as I was. The bullying continued throughout high school. I, I don't, uh, it's a little tough for me to talk about, but I, one of my friends, uh, I'm not sure why to this day, but he became friends with my bullies and uh, just started uh, uh, causing trouble for, trouble with me, and well, I, I experienced shock, and I was, to be honest, I was in shock for a few years after that. Just, I know it sounds ridiculous, but um, I was, I couldn't believe it that one of my best friends would just turn around and kind of stab me in the back. Um, I like have a lot of memories like that just in like middle school being like super caught up in like what people thought of me and just like always being super like consumed with um, how I was being perceived and so I think that kind of just like carried into high school um, and um, I don't I don't think that it was ever like addressed in my life like I don't think anybody ever um, like sat me down or like explained to me anything about like mental health or anxiety or any of that depression um, I think that, that was something that we just kind of like swept under the rug in my family. The, the suicide thoughts didn't start though until um, my my grades started failing, and uh, I I became isolated and I, my friends didn't talk to me anymore and I was just kind of by myself and uh, just uh, everything was falling apart and and that's when I had thoughts of uh, uh, going downstairs to the kitchen and cutting my wrist. Um, my senior year, I was only going to school four days a week, so it would get to be Friday and I would either not go to school because I didn't want to, or I would get to school and call my mom by like third period, saying I had to go home because I was sick. And it was never physical sickness, it was just I like couldn't be at school, I couldn't be around people. Um, I was just really worried all the time. I was worried that I was going to have a panic attack in school um, and that nobody would know what to do and nobody would know how to help. I felt uh, very overwhelmed at, you know, like all of those things kind of came to me at once and uh, it, it was very intense and very difficult to deal with. I think that I had this mentality for my first few years of college that um, being really anxious and having problems with anxiety was just something that I would have to live with for the rest of my life and I didn't really see it as something that Jesus like would ever redeem for me. We all have purpose in life and even when we look at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, it talks about how uh, even through troubles and even if we're ashamed of ourselves and uh, anything, just we are to keep on going your ways and uh, that, you know, go on the path that God puts in front of us. And, uh, you know, if, if God wants us to live one more day and He's got a purpose for us. It's just been cool to see the way that the Lord has given me this um, kind of eternal gaze now. Whereas um, before I think that I would just get consumed in moments and I would be super focused on like the right here and the right now. And so um, I feel like now whenever I have situations and, and crazy schedules and whatnot that would make me really anxious, um, I know now without a shadow of a doubt that there is nothing that can 
shake my salvation, that can shake my relationship with the Lord, um, and nothing that can deter me from the joy that He's given me. Uh, I've learned uh, uh, how precious one individual can be and uh, how even if, uh, even if everything is going against that person, uh, even if it's hard and difficult for that person to keep living one more day, uh, for that individual, it, it, it's important for that person to keep on going because they're worth it. Um, I'm Erica Crouch, and for me, Jesus is a peace that I can't explain and abounding joy. I am Kayla McCall, and Jesus has been the Lord of my emotions.